And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Gangplank's Fate Part 3. We are uh, playing this deck to rank up to Masters. We are in Diamond 120 LP, so we got four wins to go to get to Masters. This is going to be Part 3 of 4. This is going to be another five game set. Um, as we continue with our deck, our deck has looked really good. You know, like, you know, sure, we're six and four. That's a good winning record, right? 60% win rate. Um, if you win 60% of your games, you know, you're going to be doing pretty good over the long haul. It's just very consistent. We're consistently putting out, like, there there hasn't been any game, like, where our deck hasn't done anything, right? Like, we've, we've put together a good plan every single time. Just a few games our opponents have, uh, you know, just done a little bit better than us and they've won. But I, I like how... We are always in it and always competitive every game. So let's get to it. Let's let's keep it going. Let's uh, you know, yeah, get games eleven through fifteen. All right, Lulu Zed. I like facing this matchup. We want our Make It Rains and our Twisted Fates. Make It Rains and Twisted Fates. So I'll keep the, usually I'll maybe send the croaker back, but we're going to keep the croaker with the rear guard, because then we can have like round one rear guard, round two croaker. That. Pass. Pass. Yep. Uh, that ravenous flock would have been nice to have for with the sentry. Just gonna pass. Do not fear the shrouded path. Ye started without me. I'll do better this time. I am a true master. Okay. So use the one mana card to trade with the Twin Disciplines. It's not too bad. Only the worthy survive. So even if they save, you know, they use another Twin Discipline, save the Zed. At least the Zed doesn't level up now. We're, we're not taking that for. I just want to attack for five? No, not with Stun Spider. So I want to go 2-2, two, two, then Stun Spider, then attack. I'm not going to be able to kill them here. Maybe I just wait on the Stun Spider. Maybe I just attack. Ready. I'm not even sure which one to stun. It's obviously it's one of the champions, but it could be Lulu instead of Zed. I don't know. This is this is quite scary. I'm one mana. Sh you know, I'm not gonna be able to enable this harpoon, so I'm one mana short from that mana, which we had a twisted fate, right? Like the twisted fate is so good in this matchup. So twisted fate would enable the flock and the harpoon with the red card. I kind of think it's the Lulu. An apt pupil. My life for the order. If I wait on Flock, I could Harpoon right now and kill Zed, and so then they don't get to attack with that either. They should be using like Young Witch on Tracker Challenge Sprayfin, probably.
Mana Twisted Fate would be such a great draw. So, I don't die to Relentless Pursuit, but, you know, just kill something. Okay. Come on, Twisted Fate. No. Alright, so double 4 3 Overwhelm or a 5 5 Overwhelm? I guess double 4 3 Overwhelm. I think that's Pursuit. I mean, it could be... Maybe it's Golden Ages and they get a barrier. I think it's Pursuit. Okay, it's Golden Ages. You cannot escape. Looking for this? That's still eight damage. It's too late for you. So I'm not necessarily gonna win this. You know, really nice shadow assassins that, that kept them in this game. You cannot escape. The shadow assassins keep, you know, replacing themselves and everything that really kept them in this game. Looks like we lost, unless I top deck, like, make it rain, but we've already played two make it rains. It's the, only, it's the only thing that I think I can draw that would keep me alive. Right? Well, okay, no. Okay, never mind. Alright, so they're doing... This is great for me. Right, they're doing, like, the, the wrong supports for you know like I have this flock for this for this but you know if they were if they were giving the plus four plus four to like young witch you know if they're making their elusives big then I would you know be maybe dead but now they only have three elusives so we're not we're not completely dead yet Hang on, hey. okay so they do have six elusive right now I have to stun something Okay, so they're all two. Young Witch is the best. Okay, so yeah, Young Witch is the best on. Because basically, if this thing adds two elusive damage, we're dead no matter what. It doesn't matter what we stun. But Young Witch is the best on, so they don't get to kill. They don't get to have Tracker. Because Young Witch is two also, because it can support nice. another elusive. Come on, go to damage, go to damage, go to damage. No, no sharp sight. Yes. Okay, we got a chance. Oh, it's a rally. Lame. One Twisted Fate, we win that game very easily if we have a Twisted Fate, but we did not. So. I would much, much rather play against Luluzet again than game playing Sejuani, but I think we, you know, we can have this. We can get this. We can get there. No attack on three. I don't know. Let's, let's keep it all. Sentry's going to be a card that I'm going to be happy to have. Very good chance that I draw... Um, yeah, so I, I have to play this to, to trade, of course. I don't want to get them started on their level up. But good chance that we draw a Ravenous Flock, and then that makes that Sentry even better. This is kind of the question of which one to play now. Just need a second. Of the board today. Yeah, yeah, I think I think you're right, Bobby. I think that I was too maybe too aggressive with those Maker Reigns. I don't know. Like they had the twin you know Both Maker Reigns were make pretty good of like, you know they got Uh do you know use Croker? No. Is um you know, they got twin disciplines out of their hand and everything. Yep, hey, I talked to spirits. But for how it ended up with all those one health units at the end, I definitely wish I would have had my Maker Reigns at that point. And so yeah, maybe I need to wait on those. Keep up, keep up. Gotta go with the flow. I'll do better this time. Why are you here? All, all those shadow assassins at the end of that game. Those were perfect. They 
they needed every single card they had. They needed to draw those extra cards, and they needed those those elusive damage. The Shadow Assassins were perfect. And I didn't I didn't have a Make It Rain or red card to punish the Shadow Assassins. So they're only at two. Hard to get rich. Try me. We're gonna try to keep them at two. So a bad part about using Fortune Croaker on the rear guard is it, and like what I was worried about before, just like putting this down to one health opens up parlay. All right, so that could get parlayed anyway. The only way this is bad for me is if they have Sejuani, but then again, they won't have Sejuani on offensive turn. Bobby's calling Dreadway to win the game. I would take it. My plan here is to have Overwhelm Gangplank, Challenge, Powder Keg, to have a bunch of Overwhelm damage in. Yep, there's that Sejuani. Like I said, that was the only way this was bad for me. Uh, as if they had Sejuani. Okay, ready. That's what I meant to do. I do want to get their powder keg out of here. See, I don't want them to get a free challenge on my powder keg. Yeah, I can't I can't let them get a free challenge, even though it'd be nice to wait to help level up Gangplank. I can't afford to give them a free challenge. That's a good draw. Ride onward. Bristle, attack. Death doesn't scare me. They have another Sejuani, they go Fury of the North. Croyan won't do any good. Let's just try this. Let's try to just trade. Well fought. Yep, hey, I talk to spirits. These are my rules. It's a big deal of keeping their cards from leveling up. For silver, I talk. For gold, I lease it. Great Fortune Croakers, they've had better card advantage this game than I've had. Rid of three champions. It's usually with this deck really difficult to get rid of the champions. Gotten rid of three of them. We are still terrible at drawing Twisted Fate. Twisted Fate. Ugh, I just want I just want Twisted Fates and Spray Fins at this point of the game. We are terrible at finding those cards. Alright, so that levels up Gangplank. I could play leveled up Gangplank right now and just trade with their Dreadway. Or I wait, or I, you know, I stun the Dreadway, play Demolitionist, then I play Gangplank next round. If I play this and trade, we have the Powder Keg left. Powder Keg does three damage to them. Their Gangplank's leveled up also. So they can't really. Okay, now we're gonna do this. I 
remember the objectives. Make the Empire proud. Please, no Sejuani. Finally, a Twisted Fate. I don't have a good plan against Sejuani. I'll just lead with the game planks. they know about that. I do get the powder cake for, like, maybe a red card, but... I don't know. I could see going, like, gold card immediately force them to Sejuani or extend and then Gangplank. Alright, that should do it. That should do it. Never lost a fair game. Red card doing the other two. Something for all. Alright. Outplayed. Alright, I like playing against Lulu Zed. Now we did just lose to it, but I will take my chances against it each time. Don't love this hand. I'll keep Flock. The Flock's the, that's the one that I'm not sure about. We mulliganed it before and I re regretted mulliganing it. Flock's just like my best way to answer the champions. Alright, like this hand. We got our Mega Rain. We got our Twisted Fate. Good hand. Yeah, that's where we're at now. 20 LP, right? Isn't that correct? Reporting in. I'll do better this time. Oh, that's a good draw. Without a sound. That's a good draw. That works out perfectly. And I guess I'm just attacking for nine immediately. I know I could gold card first. And that gives them more information. I think it's just best just attack for nine. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. This could this could be a mistake, just this, this turn and everything. Yeah, because they have that. Holy partner. This could definitely be a mistake this turn. Then maybe I just play, like, Ballista next round. Because they're most likely playing something else next round before attacking. Alright, well, I did do damage to the two things I wanted to do damage to the most. Toph? I have never seen that card in that deck before. That was pretty nice. Twelve, fifteen, sixteen. Only the worthy survive. Sure. Yeah, so the, the Twist of Fate plan was the incorrect one. Should have waited until the next round, gold card. The next round, they played the Green Glade duo, gold card. Would be in a lot better position. I would have done that. But 
still in a good spot here. Going to be pretty difficult for them to win this through Demolitionist and Flock. Remember the objective. There we go. Okay, eight and five. So start off really strong. I had one wrong play, but that was good. Good learning lesson there. Ooh, I haven't played against Misfortune Gangplank in a little bit. All right, so we're kind of a mirror match, right? So this can go either way. We do go a little bit bigger, which is usually good for mirror matches. The person that goes a little bit bigger usually rewarded. Now I like Gangplank a whole lot in this matchup because it does go a little bit bigger, but we don't have early stuff, right? Like, if, if I had early stuff, I would keep the Gangplank, but it's too risky for me to keep Gangplank then and just have more 4s and 5s. Twisted Fate's always 100%, but... Um, okay, we need to have early stuff as well. Don't love Double Harpoon. I have my don't love that. I'll do better this time. I can't risk it, can I? I can't risk it. They trade, then I don't get to Croker. Where's my axe? I don't change fate, but I can see it. I never. Okay, ready. There is assistant. Good block. That was not the block I wanted. In that was a good block. War Mason, reporting for duty. I mean, yeah, we just don't. You know, I attack immediately right away. Like, like maybe they block, maybe they don't. If they don't, it's great. If they do, it's bad. Right? Like, so it's. It's just hard to say. Once you're a little, whenever, whenever I thought about, whenever I put the unit out there and thought about it for a little bit, then they would definitely block, and so then I had to pull back. Deal me in. I can't say this was a bad hand. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not. Dead in I can't. Traps. I can't try to blame the hand. We had a one drop and two two drops. And then it's Twisted Fate. Like, sure, it wasn't it wasn't perfect. You know, we don't get to Demolitionist. Just, you know, there's, there's things that wasn't great, but I can't complain. What? In Tarnation? Alright, let's start with you. Mmm, I kind of need to do one damage to them for Plunder's sake. Kind of need to do one damage to them. Let's get to it. Let's put me down to four if I make this block. So I die to a decimate. Or I go to six. Like how much do I want to die to a decimate? Okay, so they haven't... We know they still have the Sprayfin card, right? Like, they haven't played any spell that costs three or less, right? So they have they still have a spell that costs three or less. It's pretty unlikely they have a decimate. So they probably have, like, a Fervor. You have to try to kill them quickly. Plenty to handle 
I feel you, don't you think? It's a sharp tongue you've got there, little snake. Clear it out. Fortunately, if that is fervor, then that this powder keg means game. I'm gonna gut ya. Go to damage, go to damage, go to damage. Okay, good. So fervor doesn't kill me now. I don't really have to play Dreadway next round. Been quite a while, Sarah. So serious. You're prettier when you smile. <laughs> Set sail. I'll show him pain. Croyan won't do any good. Sure about that? I don't know why they're not challenging right there. Why is this doing three damage? Oh, because then that thing turns into a six. And then it also does an extra damage there. But still, that puts me down to one. So that last card's that last card's got to be Make It Rain, not Fervor, doesn't it? Okay, so if that last card's... So it's either Fervor or Make It Rain. If it's Make It Rain, this is bad. If it's Fervor, this is good. If, it's, if it was Fervor, they would have killed me before. So I think we can say it's not Fervor. I mean, I guess I'm I'm gonna lose to Fervor now that I waited. But I don't I think it's make it rain. I don't think it's Fervor. Because Fervor would they would have just killed me. Earlier. I think it has to be Make It Rain. You've concerns, do you? It was Fervor! They could have already killed me with Fervor. I am reborn of salt and dry. When I had like no mana. Huh. Okay, well, you know. So be it. I couldn't stop losing to Fervor no matter what I did, because I had to use that on the Gangplank with the big Overwhelm on the Gangplank. Alright, back to Lulu's Ed. I like it. And I like that previous matchup, too. But, you know, it wasn't a perfect hand in those, the two... You know, six mana cards was pretty awkward. There were some things that were awkward about it. I, I probably took a little bit extra damage earlier than what I needed to, you know. It ended up being where I should have attacked round one. And even if they trade... Yeah, the the not attacking round one ended up costing me there. Because, like, if they if they take it with... Yeah, that, that ended up costing me. Good to good to learn, though. Alright, so you're, you're gone, you're gone. You're back? Sprayfin's kind of awesome, though. An elusive blocker plus the spell. Just, I'm keeping a slower hand. You'll thank me later. My I don't know what my opponent's draw was the last turn. They didn't play it. They it was they they had a spell still in their hand. From Sprayfin, that was either Make It Rain or it was um, Fervor, and it ended up being Fervor. Do not fear the shrouded path. Or the path with the talking lilies. Mm -hmm. I'm always up for a round or two. So that's the wrong play by them. They should go plus three, plus zero on the mentor so that then I stun the mentor. That's what they should do. Got him. Yeah. That game's pretty over. It was in the card. We did have that one in the cards. Okay, so another three and two record. Now we're at nine and six. You know, we're just a good sixty percent win rate, right? We're just get you know, getting on up. Sixty percent all the time. 
uh, that this five game set, we had two losses for two decks that I love playing against that I, I think that were favored, but we're not 100% favored. And that's okay. You know, like we're going to lose some, especially the, the Pyre Dago is more difficult. Um, you know, the, the hindsight with that, obviously drawing the, the two harpoons right away early was kind of rough because they they do kind of clog up your hand against pirate aggro but still with that you know you're not going to always have perfect hands right but the thing that i could have done differently you know you always want to look for what can you do differently and i the how it played out attacking with the rear guard would have been a lot better especially how we drew like demolitionist and croaker where i could have played demolitionist on two by itself and then you know have the croaker afterwards um you know if they don't if they block if they don't block, it's the exact same, and they would have just taken three extra damage, and you saw at the end of the game their life total was three, so that three extra damage could have just been the game. If they do block, um, then it's three less damage that I'm taking, and, and you know I wouldn't have died right then, so that would have been a, a big difference. And then also that two-on-one and traded with something else. I guess it traded with the rear guard later on anyway. But All right, so there we go. So that's, that's going to be Gang of Planks Fate Part 3. All right, we got one more. Part 4. Come on up. Let's uh, you know see if we can keep get keep going, keep getting there to masters. We'll maybe try to do a little bit better than sixty percent win rate, but it's really hard to complain about sixty percent win rate, winning three out of five every time. All right, y'all, y'all on YouTube again. Hit that like button and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this format of you know really going diving deep into one deck. If this is a deck that you're also interested in building and maybe playing for the seasonal tournament, you're getting a lot of gameplay. A lot of, you know, different mulligan decisions and, and different decisions about it. So hopefully y'all are enjoying the deck. All right, but that's going to be it for this one. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.